Hello guys and welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. Once again I'm Greg and this is the Starting Eleven show, back after a little Christmas hiatus and on that note I hope you guys manage to have a decent festive period, uh, find some way to celebrate and likewise that you're looking forward to the new year with some sort of hope and some sort of excitement but that new year starts with a game against West Ham and I will give you a little bit of injury news and my predicted lineup for Carlo Ancelotti in that game. In terms of injuries, Richarlison's back, he could be chosen, he's in contention, but on the flip side, Hammers still not back, that injury recovery is really stumbling along, isn't it? Uh, the projected date is that he'll be back for the Rotherham game in the Cup, uh, perhaps he'll come off the bench and get a little bit of game time and we can assess sort of where he is at that point. Um, and hopefully he can then start to get reintegrated properly into the league. But for now, it's a pretty similar deck to last time out but with Richarlison back in. So I think the team will be quite similar. There is still a couple of points of contention, a couple of debates. Uh, so let's get into that and go through the team. First of all, in goal, I think we'll see Jordan Pickford. Obviously, him and Robin Olsen are starting to, to vie a little bit more. Olsen's pushing his name into the conversation more and more every time he plays, in my opinion. Uh, I think he looks a good player. And from the rumours, we're looking at making his deal a permanent one uh, when the loan expires. So... You know, uh, it's it's an idea that he might be in our plans permanently, but he also might be happy to be uh, a player on the bench. I think he's definitely a step up um, as a as a backup goalkeeper that we've had recently. I'd certainly be happy with those two being our our two main competitors, but I'd still like to see someone who took that quality that step up a little bit more than Jordan Pickford just to really assert ourselves as a dominant force. I I still do worry about Pickford sometimes, um, but. For now, Olsen, if, if he is happy to come in and play that role of a backup keeper, I'm very happy with him to extend his contract. Um, but I think Pickford will get the nod here. Next, right back, will it be Seamus Coleman now back from injury or will it be Mason Holgate? I think they offer two different things, to be honest with you. I think Mason Holgate has been great um, in this period where we've needed that back four just to keep out attacking teams like... Um, Chelsea, Leicester, to an extent, we're talking about Arsenal. Um, he had quite a, a challenge against Saka, didn't he, against Arsenal? So, you know, at least there's some sort of attacking intent there. Um, so I think he's been very good at defending and helping and being a big part in those clean sheets we've kept. But I think Seamus Coleman maybe offers something a bit more in terms of the quality of ball he can put into the box. Uh, a big thing when we rely on Cabot Lowen for our goals. But I am still one for not upset, uh, not upsetting a winning formula. Um, so for me, Mason Holgate stays and, and we stick to this back four as long as possible uh, whilst it's still working. Uh, so in that breath, Yeri Mina sits next to him, Michael Keane, and then Godfrey. The only time I'm expecting this to be properly upset is if we get thrashed and we, we just look at the system and say it's not working. Or if Luca Dean comes back. Uh, he obviously takes the spot at left back because he's one of our best creative players. Uh, he's you know he's one of the best left backs in the league. Um, and then the the question really is, does Godfrey come in and, and take Yeri Mina's space? Maybe um, does does uh, does he go to left back and Holgate comes into the middle? Does does Yeri Mina keep his space? That's definitely one I'd like you guys to debate in the comments uh, when Luca Dean comes back, or, or even if you're having the conversation with yourself with Seamus Coleman coming back. Uh, how do you think this new back line looks? Because we have so many quality centre-backs that really proved themselves over the last month, especially in December. Then moving on into the midfield, we've obviously got Decore, uh, who's been a bit of a mainstay this season. I think he's been fantastic, really proved himself. Um, and especially with Alan out, is is very important. He starts. Next to him, I think it'll be Tom Davies. I don't think he's done too badly. I think he's playing the role that we've seen him play for the England youth setup where he's more of a defensive midfielder, more defensively minded, um, fitting the profile of Alan a little bit more um, than, than, say, a Gomez would in that position. So, you know, and I think the England youth set up really rate him in that position. I think he's captained a few games for the under-21s as that central defensive midfielder. And I think we're seeing that he has the quality to play there in the meantime. Um be interesting to, to give him a few more tests and see how he does. But at the moment, I think I think he's a little bit on the up. He's proving himself. He's got a bit of uh, wind behind him. So, you know, keep him in there and see what he does. Just in front, um, another man with a bit of wind behind him, finding a bit of form, finding his feet back where maybe a lot of people had counted him out completely, myself included. Uh, Gilfie Sigurdsson, contributing well, of course. Uh, penalty goal, he scored. Our only goal against Sheffield United to... 
to be honest, with, with a touch of quality that I, I think a lot of other players in our team might not have been able to take that chance so well. I think he was under a lot of pressure. He finds that, that corner perfectly. Um, you know, it's a touch of quality that we need sometimes. Just just uh, the ball falls in the box. You don't get many opportunities in a game like that, especially when players are tied. You just need someone with a touch of quality to, to, to put it away and, and, and seal the game off. Uh, so I, I think whilst he's in good form, of course, keep him there. I think Andre Gomez looks very um, off the pace at the moment. Has done since he came back from his injury, really, but especially at the moment. Um, out on the right, Awobi keeps his space. Um, I still think he's getting better. Final ball in the box. You know, people are talking about that needing to, to take a step up before he's he's a mainstay in the team, obviously. Uh, we've got players to come back and fit in around him, and he's you know his his space isn't isn't set, it isn't concrete at the moment. That when Hammers comes back, Awobi still's in uh, still is in the team. He's obviously worked his way into Ancelotti's plans. He'll be uh, he'll be a bench player. You know, maybe him and and Bernard were quite inseparable at the beginning of the season for many as to where they were in the pecking order. Awobi's definitely you know put himself within the, the first sort of fourteen, but can he get himself in the in the first eleven with some really quality delivery, starting to up his numbers in terms of goal contributions? Yet to be seen, but I think he gets another opportunity to do it here. Calvert Lewin obviously starts up front. Not not much more needs to be said. And then I think Richarlison comes back. Nice to see Gordon, but it wasn't the kind of game where he could really affect things, was it? There was tired teammates around him. Uh, it was a team, a Sheffield team that was just happy to defend and, and not let much creative play happen. Uh, and then, you know, Richarlison's back. I think it's important he's back in the team. We've got to assume he's fit enough to start. I think he provides us so so much, you know, going back, going forward. Uh, just the work rate he puts in is immeasurable. And that's why we are sometimes, well, most of the time, if you look at the stats, um, struggling to get any kind of points without him in the team. Uh, so I think that's my, my team, guys. Pickford in goal, a back line of Holgate, Mina, Keane and Godfrey. Um, Decore and Davis with Gilfie Sigurdsson just in front. And then a front line of Awobi, Calvert-Lewin and... Richarlison, I'm genuinely concerned now. As soon as I said Godfrey, I'm, I'm concerned that I've called him Gibson earlier. I, I've I, I've got some sort of complex about it now, so I've, uh, I, you know, I'll, I'll have to watch that back and make sure I didn't. But um, let me know in the comments what your team would be, guys. Um, do you think Richarlison straight back in, or would you like to see, um, would you like to see the young Anthony Gordon get a few more minutes, get a, another opportunity to prove himself just while Richarlison gets back to full fitness. Uh, do you think it's a bit sad for players like Tosin, Bernard, who might have got to prove themselves against City, um, essentially just put out there whilst the, the other boys got back to fitness and said, just have a run around, see what you can do, see if you can impress us. Do you think that's an opportunity gone or do you think um, they'll get that chance again? I don't know. Let me know, guys. What team would you go with? Do you think we'll get a win? And I hope to see you guys next week. Cheers.